Hi everyone, my name is Dave Pike, the Connector Geek, and I'm here to talk about connectors today, which makes a nice change. Modern technology depends on data more than ever, and these data connections can no longer depend on being uh, kept safely in dry conditions, in nice office conditions, and the smart factory, smart agriculture, the smart grid, the smart city, all of these things are taking technology out into the field where data connections need to withstand tough conditions. I'm joined today by Carlos Rodriguez of connector manufacturer Bulgin to talk about how connectors are solving these complex data needs in some of these harsh environments. Welcome, Carlos. Thanks very much for joining us. Hello, David. Thank you for having me. No problem. So I'm going to launch straight in with the first question. Um, in the introduction, I talked about the connected world and the world we live in with all these data needs. What are the, some of the key demands that Bulgin is seeing for sealed data connectors in the field? Uh, yeah, thanks for having me again, David. And uh, we're, we're seeing a high trend for compact designs on uh, data interfaces, obviously more cost effective, uh, but in particular connectors that can be IP rated or uh, ingress protected uh, with uh, characteristics of fully submersible, weatherproof, dustproof, and even uh, some instances of uh, some level of protection against certain chemicals, such as chlorines, bromines, et cetera. Okay. Um, we talk about IP ratings a lot in our industry, uh, and it's easy for us to to forget that there might be people who are coming to the industry and not so familiar with, with IP ratings and what they are. So. Give us a, just a brief idea. What are IP ratings and how important are they to things like connector design? Well, IP ratings is short for ingress protection levels. And, and typically there is a two numeric digit that identifies the level of protection that uh, Interconnect Solution uh, provides the customer or end user. Uh, the first numeric digit identifies the level of protection against uh, certain solids, dust particles. Uh, and other uh, solid materials. The second numeric digit identifies the level of protections against liquids. Uh, so for instance, um, the full range of Buccaneer connectors uh, meet a minimum of IP68 rating. Uh, the first uh, numeric digit, six, identifies that it's fully sealed, uh, fully protected against any of these dust or solid particles or materials. Uh, the eight identifies the level of protections against those liquids, as identified uh, earlier. Uh, in order for any manufacturer to obtain IP68 approvals, they need to meet a minimum of uh, a one meter depth submersion on the water for a 24 hour period of time. And that's any manufacturer. We test our products to a 10 meter depth for a two week period of time. So as you can see, we test our products uh, far above and beyond industry requirements. And we've heard some some of the talk at the moment about things like IP sixty nine K. So that's that's a little bit different. What does IP sixty nine K mean? Sure. So IP sixty nine K is um, not relatively new, but new in terms of the previous uh, versions. Uh, all it is, it's a fully sealed uh, solution against uh, high pressure jets, high temperature, high pressure jets that may impact that connection. Uh, directly or in uh, different angles, uh, let's say. So, for instance, a, a, um, a food or beverage piece of equipment at the end of a shift that needs to be washed down, uh, we are indicating that our connection would be fully sealed, fully, fully protected from these washed down applications at the end of a shift. So between so, the IP68, which is the, the waterproof, the, the outdoor environment, and then the IP69K, we've got a range of connectors that is ideal for the tough conditions you're going to find in, in some of these new modern applications. Absolutely. Uh, we, we have a little bit of different uh, interconnect solutions for different environments. Uh, we've seen some of our data uh, assemblies uh, being used in pump grinders that are uh, underground, uh, buried in agricultural industries and even in offshore oil drill, drilling rigs. So we have to ensure that whatever application or environment the customer or end user may uh, find themselves in, uh, we need to ensure our products can be fully sealed 
and perform uh, at optimum speeds and uh, provide the customer a quality solution. Well, that's interesting, Will, because that's that's going beyond simply making something waterproof. Uh, these are tough environments. The industrial environment, for example, the factory floor can be one of the harshest that, that people come up against. So what other ways are does connector design influence how well things are protected? If we, if we step away from just the water, as it were, what other things make these connectors suitable for these applications? Well, you rightfully stated at the beginning that uh, no longer are these data interfaces uh, being utilized in dry spaces ever since the emergence of IoT or Internet of Things, we're seeing a high demand for uh, these data interfaces to be used in, in extremely harsh environments uh, from uh, lorry tracking uh, devices, uh, TPMSs to pressure monitoring devices, GPS monitoring devices. Uh, it plays a very important role on the type of the design engineers uh, can develop. So um, we're working constantly with engineers and uh, not only providing standard uh, data interface solutions within our Buccaneer family, but we also have the capabilities uh, to have our engineering department work with theirs in designing even custom solutions to meet their ever demanding challenges. And when we're talking about data interfaces, people traditionally have looked at things like RJ45, USB, uh, mini USB, some of these standard interfaces for their data. Is that still something that people are looking for even in these tough environments? Absolutely. These are industry standard interfaces. Uh, you alluded to the, the Ethernet RJ45. Uh, we do carry these interfaces in CAT5e. CAT 6A, we've recently launched our CAT 8. Um, but even USB A and B, uh, even sometime years ago, we even tapped into Firewire. But it, it just goes to show that um, we, we meet industry standard requirements, encapsulate these IOs with uh, fully sealed, harsh environment protected uh, shells, uh, be it field installable or over molded uh, bodies. Uh, USB-C is a new platform that's uh, recently been launched, been launched, seen a high demand for it. Uh, here at Bolgen, uh, we're the only manufacturer to date that provides a fully sealed compact design uh, to the market. There are other manufacturers that do provide a USB-C, um, but they're more of a, in a D-sub uh, type platform. Uh, IP67 is what I've seen the highest level. Our USB-C is IP68 and 69K. We do have micro USB, mini USB, and uh, as well as uh, fiber optic, simplex and duplex. And you, you've hit upon, I think, one of the key points here is that, that while some other manufacturers use, say, rectangular or D-type shells, the circular connector of the Bulgin Buccaneer is, is a very good solution for creating this environmental protection, isn't it? Absolutely, it's a tried and true design uh, with you know the embedded seal sealing gaskets uh, for chassis mount connectors and um, the overmold and field installable capabilities for the external cable assemblies. It does provide a, a fully sealed design to a customer. And we touched earlier on you mentioned the idea that these products are sealed sometimes not just against water but at some of the chemicals that we might find in an industrial process. What can you tell us about the materials that these things are made of, that the connectors are made of, that keeps them safe against those environments? Absolutely. We, we do use uh, standard material for, you know, not too severe environments, uh, but there are different materials that are utilized. Even the ceiling uh, gaskets are upgraded for these harsher environments that do um, use uh, chemicals that may come in contact. We've had some data interfaces exposed uh, to different oils, and uh, uh, although not too degrading uh, for short terms or short periods, uh, prolonged periods may impact the, the seal. So we do upgrade uh, O-rings to EPDMs or, or different materials to ensure uh, longer life cycles for, for these connections. And I think one of the other things it's worth mentioning about 
is when we're looking at the, the Buccaneer connector that has these data interfaces embedded within them, there are advantages to sticking with the known interface, isn't it? You can you can disconnect the the, the Buccaneer connector and then use a, a common or garden cable with a USB, say, or an RJ45, can't you? Exactly. That's the benefits uh, of a data interface that uh, right now a, a power signal connector uh, doesn't benefit from. You can, and we see it quite often, end users use uh, an Ethernet or a USB panel mount connector with a ceiling cap uh, to take advantage of those ingress uh, protection levels and use an off-the-shelf uh, cable to plug into and um, conduct their data transmission or, or whatever uh, job is required. Uh, it, it is a, a cost savings uh, a solution, uh, but we're, we're here at Bolton here to, to cater to whatever the customer's needs are. Absolutely. Um, and actually, you've just hit upon a very interesting point that uh, you've talked about having a connector on a panel with the ceiling cap. What a lot of people don't remember for a waterproof connector is that they're only waterproof when mated. But Bolgin have a solution for that, don't they? Yeah, so within the Buccaneer range, yes, we are IP68 and 69K when the connections are mated or a ceiling cap is applied. We have been challenged in the past to find a, or provide a solution that is uh, IP rated as well, but when the ceiling cap or the mating connector isn't applied, uh, in particular the USB and, and the ethernet um, uh, are obviously not IP rated uh, when the caps or, or connectors aren't mated. Uh, but we've recently come out with a design that uh, does provide an IP rated solution when no cap or, or connector is, is mated to it. And that, I can imagine that being very useful for, for customers in, in kind of high traffic applications where things need to be plugged in and out lots. Yeah, and, and these mating cycles or uh, unscrewing or unplugging of a cap um, has to be quick uh, due to the environment. Uh, it, it is nice to know that the connector is IP rated um, e even when those caps aren't applied. Fantastic. And from Bulgin's experience of creating these solutions, providing these solutions, we've talked about some of the, the applications and markets earlier on in the conversation, uh, but what are some of the, the most interesting areas that you see your connectors being used and providing solutions for? Uh, we're, we're seeing a, a high trend in uh, demand within the agricultural uh, industry, uh, IoT, obviously. Um, but EV, uh, there's a, a surge in EV uh, for new technologies, new designs uh, for motors, batteries. And uh, here at Bolton, we're always step-by-step uh, step, uh, with the industry. Uh, coming up with standard solutions and, and custom solutions for whatever the customer may may require. And one of the things I think you mentioned earlier about the fact that Bulgin can create customized solutions, is that something you're seeing a lot of going forward? Without a doubt. Uh, not only are, are we seeing, you know, changes on materials, as I mentioned earlier, due to specific environments, uh, but... Um, requirements to have a dual USB-C in a chassis mount, uh, having a, a hybrid connection of an Ethernet and a USB, um, changing over from a threaded coupling ring into a bayonet or even a push pull. So, you know, what we have found here is that whatever the challenges uh, may be presented to us, uh, we're up to the task. And with our rapid response team, uh, there, there's not a design that I've seen yet that we haven't met. And in fact, it's one of the exciting things is maybe someday some of those custom types then become a standard available in the catalog. I can see the demand for, for double USB-C or, or mixed hybrid USB-C with Ethernet being something that a lot of people would actually find really useful in the market. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's brilliant. Now, I think what the, the viewers will take away from this is that data is something that everybody is now using and it doesn't matter the environment. I'm sitting here in the UK looking out at a horrible day's weather 
uh, any electronics that are deployed out into the field are going to need to withstand the day-to-day -day abuse with the wind, the rain, the sunlight, uh, any chemicals and dirt that they, they must withstand. But at the same time, people require greater and greater data connectivity. And I think that's what Belgian are able to bring to this particular field is the fact that, pardon the pun, but it, the fact that we have a sealed data connector that will do everything that you expect a data to connector to do inside in the office, but can take it into these really tough environments. Um, and the, the Buccaneer range is very comprehensive with all sorts of different solutions, not just the data, but certainly data is a key part of it. So if you want to find out more, we have quite a lot of information here on DesignSpark about bulging connectors. We've talked about the Buccaneer range several times because it is such a, a powerful, powerful and versatile solution for people in this space. If you want to know more about the products themselves, there is a lot of information on RS Web where many of the Buccaneer connectors are available and there's data information, uh, drawings and so forth that's all available on the web. So you can find out more. Please come back to see us at Design Spark because we do talk about this sort of thing quite often. The subject of the smart factory, the smart farm, these are all topics that we are very interested in and continue to be things that, that viewers are interested in. So this is an area that we will be continuing to explore in the future. Carlos, thank you so much for your time and being with us today. Thank you for having me. Always great to talk to you, Carlos. Thank you for watching and join us next time uh, when we'll explore another area of connectors. Thanks very much.